Hey guys, first of all, I'd like to, to thank all my subscribers. I've got eight, eight subscribers now. I'm happy. At least that will keep me, you know, doing the tutorials. I know I've got audience, reliable audience out there. So for those guys who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. So, anyway, today's lesson will be using NURBS Revolve, okay? Using NURBS Revolve. So, um, let's click on, uh, let's go into our, our prospective view, our front view. Okay, we're going to use a typical example of modeling a wine glass. Okay, so go to create CV curve. Let's uh, begin from the center. Center. Let's go guys, we're getting there, we're getting somewhere. Yep, that's a wine glass. Alright, so we've got a wine glass out of the box. I don't know, I used it earlier, but I didn't know where I left it. But anyway, click enter. Sometimes when you uh, we go to surface, revolve. See, it's in, it's in a wrong, um, it's in the X axis at the moment. So it's wrong. So uh, let's just click on Control Z to take it back. Then click on the box. Then change. See, you've got all these um, you've got all these settings here. So what you what what we want is is um this wine glass to revolve in the Y axis. Okay, revolve in the Y axis. So we want this one. Click on, um, then click on revolve. Now we've got our wine glass. Press 5 to shade it. Now we've got our wine glass, which is pretty. All we have to do is add texture to it, add the glass texture to it, then voila, we've got a wine glass. And again, we've got uh, all these uh, different um, settings on uh, revolve as well. So bear in mind that we've got them. As well as the in the attributes editor. So anyway, that's a typical example of using the revolve tool. So let's uh, just uh, let's just delete this. Let's delete this and uh, try to model something that, that would uh, be more practical, like a, t a car tire. So to model a car tire again, you go into um, you're going to create CV curve. You're going to create CV curve, then actually model a car tie. So it would look something like this. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. It will look something like that. Then press enter. Okay. So uh, let's go into our. It will look something like this. So uh, go into surfaces and revolve and see what what happens. Revolve. See, we've made some this bird bath thingy that you find at the shopping center, <laughs> which is not what we want to want a car tire. So click on back, okay. Uh, see, click on W to bring this um, the move to on. Then you go to that one and uh, um, sorry, go to modify and uh, press center pivot, okay. We've centered the pivot. But um, it's it's too low. So what what you want to do if you're using Windows, click Insert. If you're using a Mac, click on the Home or the letter D. Okay. So I'll click on the Home key, bring it up, bring it up. Then uh, Surfaces, Revolve. There you go. Oh, it's still that. Sorry, guys. Um, 
so, uh, surfaces surfaces then click on this uh, box okay what we want is this to ret uh, to um, revolve in the x axis okay we want this to revolve in the x axis the red axis so click on the x axis then revolve there you go we've got a tire we've got uh, a tire that we can use that looks like a ferrari tire or something <laughs> um yeah again you've got all the uh settings in here you've got sweep sweep settings which is me like you know what that is anyway you've got the sweep settings okay we've got the end sweep where to start where to end we've got the number of sections we can increase or reduce the number of sections Yep, we've got all these attributes. So let's um, rather than select that, close. Anyway, let me use my one that I created earlier, the uh, good uh, tire thing. This is the one that I created earlier. So we've got the shape of a tire here. So, all I need to do again, center pivot, center pivot, then click on the D to move it up a little bit, somewhere around here. Then uh, surfaces, revolve. So anyway, you get the idea, guys. I'll, I'll waste too much of your time trying to make it pretty, but you know, you get the idea. Get that, get that. Remember, modify, center pivot, click on that, modify, you know the steps, click on that, modify, center pivot, when you center the pivot, make sure it's nicely centered by clicking um, insert on Windows and um, on a Mac, use the home key or the, D of the, or the D key, center it properly, then you go to um, surfaces, then you revolve. That's your tire. You've got a nice, good-looking tire that you can use to model to put on your car. Okay. And again, it still has that uh, that uh, thing to use on here. But now we're happy. We can put this on our model. And bear in mind that the center of pivot. Let me show you something. If you click on that and try to actually move the tire, see what happens. We want it to rotate. We don't want it to wobble like that. Okay. So what what you want to do is again what you want to do when you click on that make sure you center the pivot again. You center the pivot that way the pivot is in the center and then you'll be able to animate your tire properly. Cuz uh, at default the pivot is usually like out of where we want it to be. So yeah. Now we're able to actually um, manipulate this tire properly. So, um, and again, remember, Attributes Editor has all our, our thing, all, our, um, all of our attributes that we can change here and there, you know. So, you can check Attributes Editor as well as the channel box. Not the two settings, the channel box. As well as the channel box, we've got uh, these settings so yeah hope you like uh, or hope you like the tutorial don't forget to subscribe and uh, in, in case you want me to to improve on anything other than um, other than my accent <laughs> please send a suggestion at the bottom thanks a lot guys